This is just... I, I, I can't do this. This is just too messed up. Elfie! Listen to me. Elfie, listen to me. Just hear me out. Listen. You and him! You and him can... Of all people, Derek Brennan. What is wrong with you, eh? Huh? How sick, how twisted can you be? It's over. I don't oh. love him. I love you. I haven't let Shut him... Shut up! Him. Shut up! I don't want to hear it from you, OK? Because I want you out of my pub and I want you... I want you out of my life for good, you understand? I'm not going and you're not getting rid of me. Don't get out! 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 Say my name again. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll... I'll put my head on the block. I'll go over there and I'll talk to him. I think it's best coming from me. I'll tell him the truth. I'll tell him. I loved you, but you didn't want to know. I tell him I haven't touched you. I haven't laid a finger on you for months. I'll, I'll play him this. And I'll show him what kind of woman you are. Why? Why would you do that for me? Because I love you. It's me, Kat. Listen, I shouldn't be calling. I don't even know what time it is. Three, four in the morning. I just can't sleep. I just... I want to see you again. I can't stop thinking about it. What is wrong with me? No, just ignore this. Look, I've been drinking and... There's a football match tomorrow. Maybe we could... You know, after. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Alfie's asleep. There's more as she goes on. I've always liked you, Alfie. Liked you a lot. But you know what she's like when she's on fire? Hmm? You know? She won't take no for an answer, will she? <laughs> no, this week is been morning, noon, and night. Phone calls, begging me. She's like this little kitten on him. What? Well, what happened? Did you tell him? Did you play him the message? Yeah. Well, what did he say? Did he understand? Did you explain everything? I played him the message and I explained everything. And he gave me this. He didn't want to know, Cap. He just didn't want to listen. What did it take? <laughs> Just about the corniest trick in the book. Oh, and you fell for it! The frightened little girl act, all wrapped up in a sexy little dress. Just so that I'd look really desperate and you lapped it up, didn't you? I bet you thought that was me well and truly put in my place. Well, I don't stay in place. I don't hide away or crawl under a stone. If I get attacked, I hit back. OK? Since you're hitting back, is it? Mm. Slipping a pill in my drink. Mm. Seems to be doing the trick. No, this is you being very, very stupid. <laughs> Turning a little niggle. A niggle? <laughs> Put him in the boot of your car. A little passing irritation into something much. Well, if you do that to people that irritate you, I'd hate to see what you do when you get really angry. You will. I promise. I'd just best leave you where you are, then. That's so what you're going to do. You're going to leave me here forever, are you? Don't you think Ronnie will find that? Or Billy? 
Mm. When he comes in to do his cleaning in the morning. You are a little bit difficult to miss, I suppose, but still. <sighs> there's always that. So what, you're playing big boy games now, eh? Is that what you are, Jack? A big boy, only you don't look much like it to me right now. You don't know what I am, do you? Because if you did, you wouldn't even think about doing something like this. Why? What are you? I'm someone you shouldn't mess with. How can you say that with a straight face? <laughs> look at you sitting there chained to a radiator. Exactly how threatening do you think you look? You know what, you got lucky. Your luck is going to run out if you don't stop this right now. Get this off me! No. Well, you imagine I wouldn't even think twice. About what? Have you got any idea of the sort of people I've come up against? No. Tell me. Not stupid little girls like you! All right, people, who could it back? Well, maybe you should introduce me. You know, I could, uh, pick up some tips. Yeah, well, that's not possible, I'm afraid. Oh, don't tell me. Sheriff Jack had them all banged up, had those big bad boys put away. So you're saying you... you've actually got rid of people, not just had them banged up, you've well, actually... I'm not finally getting through to you, am I? Or don't you think I've done a lot worse? So is that why you're not a copper anymore? All oh, that's behind me. I said I'd never go back to that. Mm. I'm impressed. Yeah, but if you don't stop doing this and get these cuffs off me, I will make you an exception. Well, you might anyway. I reckon I'm in for a good beating up now, whatever happens. A whole lot worse if you don't get me out of these cuffs! So the way I see it is what have I got to lose? What, are you seriously off your head? See, I was thinking I'd have to come back in here, you know, somehow get those cuffs off you. I mean, let's face it, they are a, a bit of a giveaway, right? And then I thought, sounds to me like you've made loads of enemies in your time. Any one of them could have come back here tonight, couldn't they? Decided to settle an old score. Well, that is it. It's game over. A game? After everything that's happened, you still think that I'm playing a game? <laughs> That's right, Jack. I switched it when I came back for the laptop. You're saying you've actually got rid of people. Not just banged them up, you've actually... Well, I'm finally getting through to you, am I? Or don't you think I've done a lot worse? Which seems to be working absolutely fine. Oh, that's me. Yo, do you think you're playing it? I don't think I drink and whatever happens, happens. Right, just stop this, Stacey, stop this right now. Why? <sighs> Why? Because Bradley's over there because he ain't talking to either of us. You're rubbing salt in the wounds. I'm the one who's wounded, not him. About your mum? You don't care about her. All you care about is yourself, your own stinking hide. Yes, Roy, I just... What are you going to do, Max? Manhandle me. What are you doing over here, anyway? Why aren't you over the pub with your wife? Because I'm trying to sort this out. I think we both know that's not true. You just can't take your eyes off me. You're like a dog. Caught with a scent and you just can't let go. You're wrong. Am I? Go on, then. There's the door. All you've got to do is turn the handle and walk out. Is that all I get? I'm not a little girl, Max. I want it all. Hey, David. Hey? 
Then the lads, you being too thick to get the message. Hmm? You know, I bet you can remember exactly how much it hurt, that last beating I gave you. He warned you, didn't he? You mess with our sister, you're messing with us. So what we need to do is get your motor and go, all right? No one needs to get hurt, do they? No, I think it's too late for that. I think what he needs is a little lesson. What he needs is something to remember me by. Hmm? Hey, hold him. Hey, hold him still. Hold him. Come on, Davey. He won't hurt a bit. I'll make it nice and quick. Wait, you want to go back your side, yeah? Oh, I know how to dump a body. Believe you me, Max. And your brother. And that right, Jack? Hey? Never hurts having old Bill on the firm. What, we're just going to let him do this? Stay there! He ruined our sister's life! He did it before, and he'll do it again! It's her, isn't it, Derek? Hey, you can't make her stay here! She's got to stay here! Stay here where she belongs, with the family! You're jealous! You're jealous! You can't bear the thought of Carol caring about anyone else but you! Can you stay? Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! Don't get away with it! Don't get away with it! You took your time, didn't you? I want everything to be perfect for my little girl. So, uh, before so what's all this about? I'm sorry. You're sorry about what? Look, Max was right. I should never have dragged you all the way out here. It's, it's Jack. What about? It's just running a bit like. I wish I could say the same about you. It doesn't do to keep a bride waiting, you know, Jack. I mean, you're in there, you? If you're lucky. that he won't turn up. I'm glad my presence on sale will return, then. Uh, Jack and Ronnie, they're like Rhett and Scarlet. We well, can't have done a runner. Face facts, they're all men of pigs. I'm so pleased you can make it, Charlie. <laughs> sure. Hi, best man. Um, I think we're ready to go now. Great. Cheers. Don't look so surprised, Bill. Groom's frog used to be late, innit? I never doubted you, Jack. Not for a moment. Mm -hmm. It's time to make an honest woman of a dog. <laughs> Your dad wanted to come, but if he sits in that wheelchair long enough, he gets stiff. Mm. So he sent me instead. What you doing sitting in the back? Wow. Well, yeah, Max, you clear a space at the front, Dot's gonna come up. Oh, I say. <laughs> Here, straighten your tie. That's better. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what am I going to do without you, Ron? You make it sound like you're never going to see me again. You're not going to want me hanging around when the baby's born, are you? You're my best friend. You're my sister, you're my everything. Can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> you're like Auntie Peg and Aunt Sal. Fuck you. It's my face, like I don't like it. Mitchell. Yeah. I thought we agreed payment up front. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I count it. Do what you want, mate. 
Ready? I don't want to. Come on. I don't want to carry them. <laughs> Miss Mitchell, is this someone's idea of a joke? Roxy. No cash, no ceremony. What's happening? I'm really sorry. Come on, don't do this. Max. But you can't drive. All right, you've had a drink. Fine. You're not fine. You're anything but fine. Come on, listen to me. Right, I'm your brother. I know, I know you're my brother. You're a good brother. Go, go. It's not like this. <laughs> Call the garage. It's probably just cold. The battery's gone. Let's go, darling. Start walking. You can't walk. It's freezing. Go Max, I've got to go. Somewhere. Uh, nah. Nah, just a little trip or something. Oh, where? Somewhere special. Secret. Oh, that's exciting. You all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've just got to go. I don't want to miss my train. See you around. Don't you worry, darling. I will sort Max. No. I, I don't... Uh, I don't want any conflict. Not in front of Abby. She hates all that. We have, we have to... What, darling? What little thing? It must be freezing. Where's Max? Where's Grandad? Oh, come on then. Let's get you warmed up. Come on, darling. 